Brought to you by PrayLatin.com, makers of prayer cards featuring complete English phonetic renderings of Latin pronunciations. This coming Saturday is the Feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, which commemorates the day that St. Simon's stock was visited by an apparition of the Blessed Virgin Mary many centuries ago. It's also the one-year anniversary of Traditionis Custodis, food for thought. St. Simon Stock was given a message at Mount Carmel to promote the wearing of the brown scapular, which comes with the promises for those who wear the scapular and fulfill the requirements that come with being enrolled in the scapular. Those promises include being released from purgatory on the first Saturday after their particular judgment. But did you know that Our Lady's appearance to St. Simon Stock at Mount Carmel is inseparably linked to the message of Fatima? In America, this is relatively unknown, and that's especially peculiar because the Fatima movement was pretty strong in America prior to Francis's alleged consecration. In fact, the message of Our Lady of Mount Carmel is key to the Fatima message. You may think that you are living the Fatima message, when in reality, you may not be. My aim is to fix that here for you now. Our story involves a priest from a better time in the church, Father Howard Rafferty, an American priest who promoted the Fatima message in the 1940s and 1950s. This priest is largely unknown in our time, but in his lifetime, he promoted the Fatima message, specifically the requirements of the laity given at Fatima, including the five first Saturdays devotion, praying, fasting, living in accordance with your state in life, and the rest of the message that was directed towards the laity. He came to believe that the wearing of the brown scapular was essential to the Fatima message, so essential that one could not be living the Fatima message if they were not enrolled in and wearing the brown scapular, that you could not be doing your part to meet the requirements of heaven as laid out by Our Lady of Fatima to Sister Lucia if you did not get enrolled in the brown scapular, if you were not praying the little office of the Blessed Virgin Mary daily, in addition to the other requirements. This was news to most people when he promoted it. He got a lot of pushback. People didn't believe him. They thought he was adding things to the Fatima message. I first learned of this priest from the YouTube channel Spiritual Strength Catholic, whose proprietor reached out to me and asked that I promote this message. He helped me in the past with my recent Pacta Mama video, where in a private conversation, we went over all the dates and the timeline of Francis' enthronement of the Pacta Demon in the Vatican and all the things that came after it. And we, if you saw that video and judging from the views it got, you probably did. You know, there's a recurring pattern there of things happening on Marian feast days and days important to the Marian movement related to the Pacta Demon. The following that I have for you here is a clip from the long form talk by Father Rafferty on Spiritual Strength Catholic, where Father Rafferty describes his conversation with Sister Lucia. Yes, I'm using it with their permission. The full talk is 40 minutes in length. This clip is much shorter, about eight minutes long. And the priest recounts what Sister Lucia told him when he was finally able to speak with her face to face. That is itself a story, just trying to get to speak with her face to face almost as if the devil or whatever did not want him to speak with Sister Lucia face to face. It's an interesting story. I recommend highly that you watch it. But here's the clip. As you'll see, this is not merely about keeping the first Saturday's devotion or the Pope consecrating the particular country in question, but also being enrolled in the brown scapular, living in accordance with our state and life, and praying the little office of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I'll have more on that after the clip. Here's Father Rafferty. We started with this question about the scapular. First of all, did Our Lady of Mount Carmel come at Fatima? Oh, yes, Father. And she lit up right away, thinking of how Our Lady looked when she came at Fatima. Oh, yes, she came. I said, did you know that it was Our Lady of Mount Carmel? In some of the books, the writers say that you were not sure what you had seen on the 13th of October, because so many things happened one after another that you couldn't possibly remember everything. It was so confused that you couldn't tell what color Our Lady was wearing or how she was dressed or anything else. How did you know? She said, Oh, Father, I knew it was Our Lady of Mount Carmel because in September of 1917, our Blessed Mother told me that she was going to come 
as Our Lady of Mount Carmel. There was no doubt in my mind that I was seeing what Our Lady told me I was going to see a month before it actually happened. That answered the first question very well. Then I asked, well, how did she look? She looked like the picture in the parish church, said Lucy. I had already visited the little church in the village of Fatima. I had seen the picture of Our Lady in her Sabbatine privilege, a picture that I am sure all of you have seen. Our Lady is over the purgatory, and angels at her direction are going down into the flames and picking out the souls that are clothed in the scapular of Carmel. Those who have been devoted to her and have faithfully worn her brown scapular, together with keeping the two other conditions of chastity according to their state in life and the saying of her little office, have her promise to be released from purgatory the Saturday after their death. That's how Our Lady looked. Well, I said, and this was the great question now, why did Our Lady come that way? What did she mean? Without hesitating, she answered, she meant that we should wear the scapular. I was surprised. I looked at her in surprise and I said, how do you know that? She didn't say anything when she came with the scapular. That, of course, was the key question the reason why I had come here. And, of course, now she looked at me, thinking that I had lost my mind being a Carmelite myself. It seems that everyone in Europe already believed that the scapular was one of the conditions of the Fatima message. She said, Father. And she began pounding the grill work. I saw the Blessed Mother, and I know what she meant. If I had misinterpreted her message or had a different idea than she wanted me to have, Our Lady would have spoken about the scapular. After I get home, I thought to myself, a lot of people might say, well, why didn't you ask her this other question to make sure? So I tried to express the same question in two or three different ways. I said, now, let's get this straight. I'm going back to America. I'll probably never be here again and never see you again. Everyone in America believes that there are four conditions of the Fatima message. First of all, we are to say the rosary every day. Secondly, we are to offer the sacrifices of daily life. Thirdly, we are to make communions of reparation on the first Saturdays. And finally, we are to consecrate ourselves to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Oh, she said, there is one more condition, the wearing of the scapular, the symbol of our consecration. Well, I said, now, now let me get this straight. You mean to say that if someone did all four things and didn't wear the scapular, that he would not fulfill what Our Lady asked for? She said he could not fulfill. He could not fulfill what Our Lady asked for at Fatima if he refused to wear the scapular. Well, I said, in other words, it isn't just something which Our Lady would like us to do. It is something which is essential to the message. In other words, if you don't wear the scapular, you could not follow that message. She said, exactly. You could not follow the message of Fatima unless you add also the fifth condition, which is the wearing of the brown scapular of Our Lady. There was a Franciscan priest on our pilgrimage, and I guess he wanted to start a great big argument. He had said to me, when you get in there, you ask Lucy which she considers more important, the saying of the daily rosary or the wearing of the scapular. But at this point, now face to face with Sister Lucy, the question seemed out of place. I tried to give her a chance to dismiss it by saying, there is another question here, 
And it's kind of foolish, but I promised that I would ask it. Which is more important, the saying of the daily rosary or the wearing of the scapular all the time? She gave an answer that has been quoted, I think, millions of times. Father, the rosary and the scapular are inseparable. You cannot have one without having the other. I don't think there was another way we could have cleared up the questions I asked her during that interview. I thought of the possible talks that I could now give, explanations of the Fatima message and the place of the scapular in it. You see, now it is already 1958, and I saw her in 1950. What she said was as interesting for me to recall, and I'm sure for you to hear, as it was the day she told me these things. I wanted her to become a part of every talk, so requested, Sister Lucy, would you promise to say some special prayers every day for everyone who listens to what I have to say about Fatima and about Our Lady, and especially about the condition of the wearing of the brown scapular? She said, Yes, Father. I promise to pray for everyone who listens to anything you have to say about Fatima. So you can be assured that Lucy is praying a very special prayer for you because you have become a part of this message of fulfillment. You might say the fullness of the message that she was given to transmit to the world. I want to give you a couple of notes here on the Brown Scapular. You can often find them for sale online at any of the typical online outlets. Don't get one that is a scapular tabs laminated in plastic. That's a violation of the rules governing the scapular is laid out by the Holy See. They have the authority to govern these things. They have ruled on that. Don't get one wrapped in plastic. And I don't mean like the shipping plastic, you know, the packaging the scapular might come in. I mean where the tabs are laminated. Don't do that. People debate whether you should wear the thing on the outside of your clothing or under your clothing. Under your clothing is fine. That's also been ruled on. If you have one of those with plastic on it, though, you can either tear them off or just buy a new one. Typically at traditional parishes on the Sunday of the Feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, that'll be this Sunday, the day after the feast, the priest will offer to enroll people in the brown scapular after mass, and they'll give out scapulars for free. If you get a flimsy one during, during that, don't worry. You can get a more robust one on Etsy for a few dollars. I've been wearing the same scapular for something like four years now, and it shows no signs of wear and tear. I wear it constantly. I've never purposely removed it, which brings me to the next point. There's a debate about whether you should remove it or not when you bathe. I don't care about that debate. I think it's kind of silly. I personally don't take it off ever, and it gets cleaned when I shower. It's fine if you're worried about that. Let me put it this way. I work out for about two hours a time, five days a week at the gym, and I wear the scapular when I do it. And then I bathe afterwards and it's fine. It doesn't smell. It's not rotting on me or anything. So you can wear it at all times if you want. If you don't want to, you know, if you want to take it off in your shower, that's your business. Although I would personally go and look to see what Father Rafferty or others have said on this. Also, being enrolled in the brown scap that requires either praying the rosary daily or abstaining from flesh meat on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, or praying the little office of the Blessed Virgin Mary every day. Since Sister Lucia told Father Rafferty that praying the little office was essential, that's probably what you should do. You can get a preconciliar little office from Angelus Press through Amazon for a few dollars. Did you know about this requirement of the Fatima message? If not, let me know in the comments. Or if you did know, let me know where you heard it from. The link to Spiritual Strength Catholic's full video on Father Rafferty is in the pinned comment or in the show notes at returntotradition.org. That's the name of this channel with a .org at the end. Look for the post with the name of today's video in it, and you'll find the link there as well, in case you're not watching this on YouTube or something. And like and subscribe if you haven't. It really does help. And share this on social media if you thought it was important. This is, I think, personally an important message that we should all be striving to live the Fatima message to the fullest. That includes also the living in accordance with your state and life, which 
A lot of people have a problem with, judging from what confessors have to say about this. As always, pray for the church. I'm Anthony Stein. Ave Maria.